So if you've been watching this vlog for a while, you'll know that I'm a big fan of my big fan of my Osmo Pocket. This is my vlogging camera, and this is going to be my vlogging camera for a long time. It's compact, it's simple, it fits in my pocket. Um, I just turn it off, pop the microphone off, chuck them in my pocket. It's nice, portable, subtle, I love it. I love this camera. Not to mention stable gimbal footage, you can't go wrong. This will be my vlogging camera for a long time when I need something nice and small. I feel like I need something more. Something a bit bigger, something a little bit more capable, something that allows me to explore more than just video, but photography as well. Oh, I've got an idea. Wait, that's not right. Let's try again. Ha ha! That's much better. Wait, we don't need the box really, so let's just the Canon. This is my new Canon EOS M6 Mark II. Why did I choose this camera over the other options? I did look at a lot of the other options. I was very, very keen on the Sony, uh, the A6400. Great camera for video and for vlogging. Uh, I looked at the M50. Again, great camera for videoing and vlogging. And the 90D, 80D, all those, I went over them and over them and over them. But what really won me over on this camera are a few things. I won't go into the... Canon versus Sony, that's not what it's about. I've always shot on Canon. I like the color profiles. I like how they shoot. They're familiar. The Sony, I came very close to. Big thing was price. This one was not only a much cheaper camera for me, where I live, but also lens selection. Lenses are a lot cheaper and I already have access to EF lenses. So I didn't have to build a full collection of lenses. Uh, for this camera and with the adapter you can just use EF lenses. In fact, with this package, one reason that made this cost effective, if we're sticking to cost, one thing that I did get is I bought this as a package where Canon were giving away uh, two things. These two things which are joined together. This is the adapter, the Canon adapter for the EF mount lenses and also this is the Canon 50mm uh, lens chrome lens. I can already mount all the lenses I have access to, uh, as well as the M lenses being a little bit cheaper. Now Sigma have also brought out some great lenses uh, which are available for multiple formats uh, like the Sony. Um, they've also brought them out for the FM lenses now and I'm very keen on that 16mm when I can get my hands on it. But over the M50, let's start there. I wanted something a bit more future proof. The M50 is a great camera and eventually they're going to have an M50 Mark II, I would assume. Um, but for now, this is basically that. It is the full sensor for 4K, it's not a cropped 4K video that appeals. But the thing that caught me the most um, off guard when I was looking at the specs for the M50 was the lack of a full 1080p 120 or 100 frames if you're in a PAL region uh, for slow motion whereas this does have that feature it has 120 now you do sacrifice a few things you don't have full, dual pixel autofocus um, you don't have audio I don't know why you'd want audio for a 120p video but that might matter to you so there is a compromise there um, however it's a small compromise compared to the 720p which is the most you can do for a slow-mo um, video for b-roll and the like on the m50 over the 90d so the 90d has obviously a few advantages when you're out and about it has a weather sealing which is a big plus i wish the mirrorless range had weather sealing i understand why they don't though it was really the 90d a big thing is size as you know i use my osmo pocket a lot for vlogging i like the convenience i like the form factor i like to keep things minimal wherever i can this camera allows me to basically take all the features of the 90d and some the 90d doesn't quite master and carry it around in an easy to vlog with camera this light i can just hold it out here and vlog easily no tripod nothing the kit lens itself the uh, 15 to 45 kit lens I'll just take that camera lens off um, if I just hold this out here, as you can see, this is the kit lens and I'm just holding the camera, it's not on a tripod or any extended distance and the, uh, not only is the autofocus great, but as you can see, and I'm just using the built-in audio too for this, if you're watching this, so 
um, it might not be the best but as you can see it's wide enough for a general vlog I, I'm just holding this at arm's length with a tripod with everything else I should look at the lens not the screen that's the only thing I've got to learn um, but it, it's perfectly fine for me just to turn around and vlog with when I'm out and about uh, on its own without any accessories so that another big plus on that one so the kit lens does an okay job even though I would like a wider 16mm or something we'll get there eventually I suppose plus the kit lens is incredibly quiet one advantage that the EFM lenses have over the EF lenses is this autofocus is very noisy and this one the servo autofocus is almost silent because I intend to use this not just for video but for photography and switch between the two on the fly at times is programmability the fact that I have programmable buttons extra dials things like that that's a big win uh, on the back the manual to autofocus on the back there switch that I can just quickly switch between the two as needed again between video and photography depending on what I'm shooting huge win it just has a larger feature set than the M50 and that's what I wanted something I can use for photography and video but also feel like it's future proof to my needs that I won't need another camera anytime soon it has USB-C that's great I want USB-C on all my devices I'm sick of mini USB and all that sort of thing it does have HDMI out something I'm not going to use but might be valuable for you guys but it is one of those sort of micro smaller I think it's a mini HDMI the battery is a little bit bigger than the M50 that's great 32 meg 0.5 megapixels can't go wrong there uh, better low light performance is another big plus uh, between this camera and the M50 for me because I do intend to go out and do night photography and things and uh, even vlogging at night with my friends when I'm out you know when we go to a bar or something I might take this with me I do want that low light performance what else I guess that covers the basics I mean you've got the nifty little flash which is you can angle up and down quite easily um, I don't use a flash a lot but if I was doing portraits and wanting a flash it's nice to know that that's there for me um, the only thing you miss really is that built-in viewfinder that APS-C built-in viewfinder fortunately for me it came with one in the kit so I just clip it on there we go I now have the APS-C viewfinder um, looking at the lens cap so that's real professional of me right there but this little viewfinder is great it does uh, have quite a good resolution a higher one than I, I believe than the built-in ones the advantage of this over a DSLR is that the mirror gives you what the lens sees this gives me what the camera sees that said I'm so used to iPhone photography and touch screens that this little this little screen is enough and for vlogging the screen does come up like this which to some is a disadvantage to one that folds out I don't have that problem for me this compact nature is a little bit more uh, useful to me currently my microphone that I've been using is a little ceremonic and that just goes in the side here so this is enough for me for the time being uh, which means that other than this little flat kind of occasionally being a little bit in the way I wish I could remove it to be honest um, it's uh, this it's an, this is a compact form factor this is great I love this um, I'm used to shooting on Canon as well I like the colors I like the way it looks all of the menus are very familiar to me but it has a lot of great customization I do that I do that with my hips Whoa, I'm just picking something up I'm just gonna go like this with my hips oh boy. it's got a nice grip this grip is look at this this is quite a big chunky grip it's really easy to grab onto I don't feel like I'm ever going to drop this it's very solid I can and but I do have this wrist strap this is the uh, peak design wrist strap so I won't drop it it's one I can swap between arms quite easily it's not as bulky as a neck strap and I just find that's the perfect combination for me so that's it that's the basics I mean I can read this Spec sheet. I've got a spec sheet here if you want it. What have we got? We've got dual pixel autofocus, of course, Canon, 32.5 megapixels, 4K, and like I said, uncropped. Uh, it's got 30, it's, it's not 24p, but that's coming in a form, firmware update, and I shoot 25 most of the time anyway. 14 frames per second, but you've also got raw burst mode, which is up to 30 frames a second. Now, I know some people have complained that the buffer fills up on this a little bit. Uh, I've also noticed that 
if you use the right kind of, uh, or rather a fast enough card that's minimized, I don't see a situation where the buffer filling up after two 30 frame a second bursts that I'd be like, oh no, the, I can't wait a second for the buffer. Um, I've never had to shoot that many photos in that short amount of time ever. So I don't see that being a problem for me. It's got the Digicate processor, JPEG to RAW on camera. Mm. One thing that's really great though, is being able to use the app on here. So I've got on this, I'm not gonna turn it on, but we have the Canon, uh, the Canon app. You can see that on the screen, angle it right. This allows me to remote control this. So if I'm shooting B-roll and there's, you know, I, I can't access the camera or if I'm doing uh, some astrophotography or something that needs me to have a remote trigger, um, I've got that functionality here on the app. I don't need any accessories. So again, less to carry around. That's it really, that's it for this camera. I felt that the M6 Mark II was future-proofed enough for my needs had those features that I found a compromise on the M50 are built into this camera, so I didn't have to worry about that. Uh, and the compromises I was making on the next step up, being the 90D or being an EOS RP, which is massively more expensive, let's not forget the value of this, it's a very affordable camera. All of that combined, all my research led me to this. So that's it, that is my M6 Mark II camera. I plan to do a lot more videos on this camera as I learn how to use it I want to pass that knowledge on to you guys and I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please uh, there's the like and subscribe as per usual um, but also there's a couple of uh, videos over if I just move over here and here um, which if you would like to watch those those are other videos I've made that you may enjoy so thank you very much and we'll see you in the next video